if the government is actually going to spend more money on raiding dispensaries and not helping people who are ODing on the street and doing this scare tactic where we're actually helping people who struggle with addiction, that I can guarantee you. We have people come in here every day that are either recovering addicts or trying to help themselves and just try to substitute the whatever drugs they're doing bes uh, with cannabis. If it's prescription drugs or illegal drugs, that's, that's what's helping them every day. If they're going to try to get the weed from the LPs, the licensed producer, yes, which is proven to this moment that they cannot produce enough for all Canadians that are in Canada for them to consume on a daily basis, they're going to have a hard time. They're going to they're going to basically shoot them shoot themselves in the foot like Vegas did where they ran out of weed. I'm not worried at all. You know, when I got into this industry, I knew what I was fighting for and I, it's something I believe dearly in and I feel that people should be allowed to grow the weed that they want and not be subjected to smoking government weed. It doesn't bug me where the weed comes from as long as like there is a place like this or a LCBO where I do believe that there is a quality control. I don't think that here where they're getting their weed, there's inspectors going in and making sure those gro those rooms are clean. But out of all those dispensaries I've shopped at, their weed seems to be the, the most like trimmed properly, manicured properly, like their, their quality is probably the best.